Here we go again. So it is the die alpha 17.4. Stable. Fortnite. Every night. So, uh, we did our trade request and we spent the night in this junkyard. So we got a junkyard pig over here. Aww. Bacon. And, uh, did the old jump on a roof or something maneuver. And we had to drop wooden frames and upgrade as we went. They were stacking up and jumping on the roof, and breaking everything. Looks like they broke just about everything. Yep, a lot of damage to this poor little hut. What's this? Nah. Alright, that looks better. <laughs> everything took damage. So yeah, it is wasn't very interesting, but uh, it was kind of strange. You'll see that these are usually three stack high wooden or iron bars, and they would break this one, and then move down one, break this one, move down one, break this one, and they did the same thing on both sides until they got to the end. Oh, wandering horde. They did the same thing on this side. So they stacked up at some point and just managed to do just enough damage, but they spent well more than half their time jumping up and down. So it really made these bars last a really long time. It was pretty cool. Used a bunch of our crossbow ammo. We started off with... Uh, Oh, I don't know. I think it was almost two stacks of it. But today, once uh, these jerks are done with, we're on the hunt for more mods. You have to kind of pick your own endgame in uh, Seven Days to Die. So my endgame is full steel armor, or steel plates, and the associated perks. So we've got everything but one steel plate. And we pretty much achieved um, continuance, uh, sustainability, whatever you want to call it. Sustainability is a better word. Um, where we can fight the horde every night and easily replace the damage they've done. It just gets a little tedious to go around repair everything. So we've got an SOS house and a pawn shop. We'll see if we can get through both relatively quickly. Could just pull up to the top and grab the good loot and leave. But... Uh, 800 zombies and amazing aim. We even put our regular bandages on our bar. No, sir. So, I'm just gonna loot what I can on the bottom here. There's a couple good lootables somewhere in here. I just don't exactly remember. And then, probably just climb up to the roof. Flint. Well, don't really need it right now, unless we jump off the roof of the SOS house. We did clear out the cars in the uh, know, parking lot, fenced in parking, long term parking that we spent the uh, horde night in. And that was uh, more so they wouldn't blow them up, but. Uh, didn't really need anything that we got off the cars. A little bit of oil never hurts. I thought I brought Molotovs, but of course I didn't. Yeah. Wasn't exactly terribly far away from uh, home base. So, we're down here. And just a little bit of driving. 
back to main base. But I just didn't feel like going back. I don't have to repair the, uh, the parking lot. <laughs> I have to repair my base. Oh, a CP boy. Out late with the boys. Too many frothies. Yeah, I don't feel like dealing with them damn ceiling tiles. Get out of the way! Okay. I just blew up the extra bike. Doo -doo. Super stealth maneuvers. Oh. It's going so well. I think there's some stuff in the back room here somewhere that we should grab anyways. So yeah, it's just about picking your own endgame. You know, do you have the perfect base? Um, you can do permadeath. You know, or just first death, or, you know, a death that you did something stupid and you can attribute to your own mistakes as opposed to the game being glitchy and call that the end. It's all about picking your own, own end game. Build a gyrocopter and fly away. I don't know. Have the perfect bunker. Whatever it happens to be. For me, it's them steel plates. Save gameplay, come on. Yeah, we used a bunch of those, we'll take some. Keep back up here. See how quickly we can fall back down. Hi there. It was really interesting watching them just kind of destroy the junkyard. Not understanding to uh, beat on the same place. And just kind of moving around beating on everything. Oh, go away! Wow. My aim is, is really awesome today. Where's the loot back over here? What do we got? Worthless box. Two okay boxes. Three okay boxes. What do we got? Iron pickaxe, nails. Eh, mechanical parts. Hey, probably the best drop we could to get out of that box. Meat stew and some sham. Another claw hammer. Look like a helmet light. Was it a helmet light? As a helmet line. Uh, don't really need any of that. So we'll move on to the SOS house. The uh, fort. Oh. Keep back up on that damn roof. <laughs> that little, little cur curve just kept knocking me back down. The four solar panel house over here was our trader class, so that's all cleared out. And the SOS house is over here, I think. Let's see if we can jump on the light. No? Okay. Magic. Magic light. Let's just walk right through it. So this has some breakaway floors in the front. So we're going to go in through the kitchen area. Gives us a little bit better control. So we don't get rushed by everything. Another beaker. So something else that uh, we learned is... Uh, <laughs> Gunpowder 
you can make in the chemistry station, the campfire, your inventory, but if you put one beaker in the campfire, it's a one to one instead of a two to one for coal nitrate to gunpowder conversion. And we had one beaker for the longest time. But we couldn't get that second one for the chem station. So we could have been making a lot more gunpowder a lot sooner. Oh well. Let's go down in the basement. Clear this mess out. So they don't follow us upstairs. There's usually a destroyed workbench in the corner here. There's some weights, so you get a little bit of everything in here. You got the, the pallets of uh, cobble, some concrete pallets. So early on, this can be a great spot to uh, to just kind of camp out and to loot up. You know, during the night, you just coming down, come downstairs here, break down some of this stuff, and go through the house, break down all these uh, random boxes for electrical, mechanical, plastic. This is kind of random. Uh, timer relay? Don't need any of those. Just scrap it. But yeah, you got air conditioning units. You got the workbench. Or workout bench. Bench press bench. <laughs> Alliteration. Lots of little trash down there. Ooh. A little early on that swing. Would have missed anyways. And then this is underneath the fireplace. For the secret stash. Don't need the cat found bow, but we'll take that AK to sell. And you can see it from the living room there. Treadmill. Bunch of these pipes you can just break down for iron. So, decent place to just kind of camp out in to get uh, resources at night. And this is where you land if you uh, come barreling through that front door and you're not paying any attention whatsoever. So, first time I ever found this house, we came through the front door and the floor right there is breakaway. So with a wooden bow and a wooden club. I don't think this is breakaway yet. Wooden bow and a wooden club. <laughs> we were dancing in circles down here in the basement. Clearing this place out. Oh, what a nightmare. It was fun though. It's a nice, nice challenge. But there's even gore piles back here, and you can take out quite a bit of the stairs and not have to worry about them coming up after you. Oh, stupid plastic plating. You're not steel. You can jump up that way if you want, or you can go this way and repair the stairs almost fall off and to the right here is the other door at the back of the house eventually wandering mobs will come and beat that door down so we're just gonna repair this up a little bit so we don't fall down And there's some bedrooms over there with some breakaway floors, but there's nothing really interesting in there. Memory serves, loot-wise. Maybe a bookcase. So I guess we should check it. Why? In my frame. Anything in here? No. 
don't feel like going around. And we've woken up a whole bunch. And this is the way up. Uh, I don't remember what's over there, so we'll go check that. What's in here? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Suitcase. Nothing plus suitcase. Where are you going, man? Hit me as I fell down. Well, here's that bookcase we were looking for. So let's check that. Another triple pocket storage. Position magazine. Some uh, kind of obvious breakaways. You know, some of that's breakaway. I don't remember what. So. We just jump over it. Head on upstairs. There's something back here, just trash and a med pile. Okay. And then you creep around, following the light. Through all this, hanging on edges and whatnot. And then about here. Or is it the next room? It's one of these two where they just start dropping in on you. Aw, he's just all tired. He didn't want to get back up. Yeah, I think it's this one. I don't want to fight what's up there. Only one? Only one. Unless there's some laying down. Bunch of vultures up here on the roof. Well, a spider. I saw one vulture sitting on the boxes over there. Let's see how many more we get. Whoa! He's going to space. Just one, eh? Okay. Got some shotgun messiah boxes. That's really pretty much what we're looking for. They seem to have a better chance for mods. Hey, some rocket ammo. Man, there, there's a mod, not the one we want, but a mod. A couple shamway boxes, not the best loot that we could get, but uh, not bad either. All in all, we got the beer cooler with water in it. Shamway box. All right, that's that's about it. I don't know where to go next. Just randomly proceed around. Scrap and just drop half of this junk because we don't need it. So we'll try and figure something else out as we exit this place. Should be a little lattice over here that we can jump down on. You can fall through these holes in this lattice. So if you're going to jump down on it, make sure you land on it properly. Yeah, so we'll go find something else to do for the rest of the day, and then head back home. So, the uh, church, yeah, it, it's labeled church, just in case you couldn't tell that it was a, uh, you know, church. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, we'll go through here. There's nothing in here but a couple zombies and, what, two, two higher class lootables? If these wooden beams would stay, uh... This... Boo, oh, hello! Would stay up during a horde night. This could make an interesting horde base. Just make some uh, some platforms and some bars and stuff and just shoot down. It's right up there. 
Who am I walking on? Yeah. Alright, that's it. Hey, a bookcase. Boo. Yep. That's pretty much what I expected, but we didn't have to kill 800 guys to get a shot at a bookcase. That's pretty good. Is that an older one? The older POIs don't have anywhere near as much loot um, as the newer POIs, so trying to avoid the older ones a bit. Eh, we'll go look. Come on out. I know you're in there. Oh, you're just taking your sweet time. Got a workbench over in the corner there. Couple random things laying around. Sports bag with a hunting rifle. Someone forgot their bug out bag at the beginning of the apocalypse. Glue. Garbage. Come on, come on. Switch faster. The more empty jars. How are we doing on cloth? We could use a little cloth. Oh, hi! Jesus. Every great once in a while, this game still can just jump scare the sh out of you. <laughs> so he's just hiding up there, I guess. There's a newer POI. And there's quite a few bookcases in there, if I remember right. There's at least three. Hopefully they're actual bookcases and they're not empties. And you're not dead, because I had to walk over you. Would you just, just die already? Thank you. Wow, those guys got a lot of health. Lucky looter in a grease monkey magazine. Suppose we could have held on to that grease monkey and just make a 4x4, but kind of like the motorcycle. Unless you're, uh, if I didn't have this backpack mod, I'd definitely make a 4x4. Just because the inventory is much larger. Anybody up there? No. Gotta check the sink. Or acid for recalc. Wow, these these guys are just super sleepy. That's okay. I'll take some free kills ever having to work for so and so many of them. Hi there. I don't know where you came from, but I don't really care. And another bookcase, and another discipline. We're just using them because I don't feel like sorting them today. We went to, uh, a while back, a couple days back, we went to 10 in. We did pick up the science rank 5, so we can make auto turrets and chainsaws and augers. Just so I don't have to worry about those magazines. Not that we were low, we actually still had a good supply, but I'm starting to get so many points, I don't really know what to do with all of them. Which is kind of strange. I mean, I could pick up another weapon skill like pistols or something. But we've already got shotguns and automatics covered, so. Yeah, just just going, going whichever way I want today. I, I really don't care. Let's get out of the way. Anybody home? Yup. Hey, gun store box. Gun store box. Come on. Come on. Nope. Two mods. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to get it off the trader. And that kind of feels like uh, not quite the end game that I want. I want to find it. Not buy it. <laughs> Falling out of the closet due to the heavy metal. Knocked down. No. No. 
Definitely not. Ammo. That's not ammo to me. Arrows are no longer ammo to me. Let's see what we can do about getting rid of some of this junk. Too coal. No thanks. Um, use that. Someone's beating the hell out of the wall over there. Don't really care. Killed a wolf, a bear, and the pig at the beginning of the video for all that meat. Got a six compound bow from somewhere. Probably the uh, trader quest house that we looted. That's going to the trader. Okay, so at the edge. It says go that way. So I guess we'll go up this way. Anything in here? No. Hi there. Oh my god. I'm covering like 80% of the screen and I still can't hit you. No problem between keyboard and chair. Hey, some more gun store boxes. Well, we can use that repair kit, actually. The Hunter. Yeah. Not what we want, but we want only one thing, so uh, that's pretty much going to be our life for a while. I guess we need to go hit the trader, get rid of some of this junk. So, go do that, repair our shotgun. Probably should have repaired the AK instead, but whatever. We got oil glue or duct tape on us so we can make whatever we need so I'm gonna go hit the trader and then probably cruise back to the base and I'll see you in a bit so we're here back at base sorting stuff Putting stuff away, cleaning out our cement mixer. We looks like we've got enough concrete mix to do something else stupid. So I'll have to find some uh, another place to. Uh, yeah, we're still making a ton of uh, concrete mix in there. Another fourteen hundred ish. Uh, go have to find somewhere else to to waste our resources on. Realize that we did have our mob tops on us. Hello, cat. So, just waiting for Horde Night to begin. We'll go up top. Probably should make some more. Eh, we got enough. Probably should make some more crossbow bolts at some point here. But we got quite a bit of 762. Found a shotgun, because we made a bunch for our shotgun turrets that aren't really firing very much at all. Six, six-ish rounds per night, which isn't terrible. Uh, got a whole box full of mods. Gotta get rid of that, clean that up. Enough meat to last us uh, forever. <laughs> uh, what else we got here? Uh, some more meat stew, ready to go. Some coffee. Bunch of torches. I don't remember why I made a bunch of torches, but we got a bunch of torches. Some more 762. Uh, at the trader, we bought some 762, <laughs> some gunpowder, and some bullet casings. And a couple bits of rocket ammo. We got a bunch of glue in there. We turn that into duct tape. Bunch more gunpowder ready to go. We're just like overstocked on everything and looking for looking for our last mod. I mean, we could work on the base some more and uh, make it more complex and pretty it up a bit because it is kind of just square and boxy, but it is what it is now. We gotta wrench out. Check these fence posts. Still haven't figured out how they take damage go down. Ooh, not all the way down. <laughs> Ow. Stupid barbed wire. 
go down and uh, check the bottom ones here. At least the ones that we can see. Yeah, I don't see any damage in there, so we'll just close that. Check our traps, because I don't remember. There's one that's a little damaged. Maybe it was the ground. They're all good. Farm's ready to harvest again, but uh, without friends to feed, uh, I don't really need to. So, And actually, I don't feel like doing Ordnite over here. I feel like melee stuff in the face. So we're going to run. Go to our melee base. Just stop in the middle of the field casually. Get our hammer out. Don't have any torches up over here. Nothing special. So I just do one of these numbers. Oop, that's the wrong one. That's the one that goes to the pit. No doggo. And we'll just sit here tonight. Less stuff to repair, less resources used. So this this is horde now. This is this is my choice of bases. Got the melee base here, which depending on how bad these cops are, or how bad my aim is, and how quickly I break my hatch, I may have to retreat and run away. Probably not though. I've always got this. Plus blood splatter effect. Awesome to watch. Yeah, you chew on that wall, buddy. Just a pile of corpses. So yeah. You've seen this before. If anything interesting happens, it'll be included, but we're going to leave it here for now. So if you watch this, and all of this, thanks for watching.